Now we're asked to find the integral then of the root of 5 minus x with respect to x. So what I'd want to do is first of all rewrite this as the integral of 5 minus x to the power a half and that's integrated with respect to x. Now to do something like this there's two ways that I can think of that spring to mind. One is by substitution and the other is by recognition. And I'll do bo both methods for you, but uh, we'll start by recognition. I can see that this is a linear function, 5 minus x, and it's to a power n. Now when you get a linear function to a power n, if you see that at the front here, that this is a constant, and it is, it's the constant 1 here. If it's any constant times a linear function to power n, you can do it by recognition. It comes from essentially differentiating y equals 5 minus x to the power 1 more than what we've got here, to the power 3 over 2. Because if you differentiated this, you'd have to use the chain rule, and I'm assuming that you're familiar with the chain rule. If not, just go on my website and look at the tutorials for the chain rule, differentiating using the chain rule. But if you did differentiate this through the chain rule, you'd have the power comes down the front, that would be 3 over 2, and then it would be 5 minus x, reduce the power by 1, so it would be 5 minus x to the power half. And then we multiply this by essentially the differential of 5 minus x, which is minus 1. And when cleaned up, this gives us that dy by dx equals minus 3 over 2, multiplied by 5 minus x to the power half. So can you see this is looking very close to what we've got here? The only difference is that we've got a constant here, minus 3 over 2, in the way. Well, all we need to do, providing it's a constant, you can't do this if it's a variable, but we want to make this come out as just simply 5 minus x to the power half. So we would need to multiply this, let's just put this in square brackets, we would need to multiply this by minus 2 thirds. So if I was to put minus 2 thirds in here, minus 2 thirds multiplied by minus 3 over 2 gives us 1. 1 lot of 5 minus x to the power half, which is what we want. So if I go backwards, this will be minus 2 thirds in here, and the minus 2 thirds would have had to have appeared here. So differentiating this just gives us at the end of the day, 5 minus x to the power half. So I hope you can follow that, okay? So what we get is that the answer is minus 2 thirds, 5 minus x to the power 3 over 2, plus that constant of integration. And that, as I say, is done by recognition. Now I said also that there's another way that we can integrate this, another method, and that is by substitution. So I'll run through that method with you now. So if we're integrating this by substitution, let's just copy this out, the integral of the root of 5 minus x with respect to x, then this is going to be exactly the same as integrating this function of x with respect to x, but we can change this, let's just put that as root of 5 minus x, but instead of having the dx here, we can change this to dx by du as long as we integrate with respect to u. It's an equivalent statement to this. So what I need to do is make my substitution, and that substitution will be u is the 5 minus x. So We'll let u equal 5 minus x. And then we differentiate this with respect to x to get du dx. So therefore, du dx would be equal to minus 1. 
So we can make our substitution in here. This is, becomes the integral of, instead of the root of 5 minus x, it's going to be the root of u, or u to the power a half. As for dx du, we've got du dx. dx du will be the reciprocal of that. So dx du will be 1 over minus 1. In other words, minus 1. So we can put minus 1 there, and we integrate this with respect to u. Let's just tidy this up first of all. This becomes minus the integral of u to the power half with respect to u. And if we integrate this, we just obviously add 1 to the power, so we've got u to the power 3 over 2, and we divide by the new power, divide by 3 over 2, which is exactly the same as 2 thirds there. Don't forget the constant of integration, plus c. And you can see now that if we substitute back u as 5 minus x, we're going to get this result here. Let's just finish it off. We've got the minus 2 thirds then, u being the 5 minus x, and it's now to the power 3 over 2, and then plus the constant integration, plus c. Okay, so the two ways of doing that integral, but I much prefer the integration by recognition method. It's normally a lot quicker. I would tend to do this in my head. I know I had to slow it down just to show you what was going on, but you should be able to arrive straight at this result, okay?